Hey guys, so welcome back. So as promised, last week I had mentioned that um, this week I am taking you guys along with me to organize my vanity. So yes guys, you're gonna help me organize this little desk right here. We will be organizing my vanity today. I hope you guys enjoy this type of content. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please consider subscribing as I would love to have you back. All right, without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Rose. I'm a wife, a mom, a creative soul with a passion for all things home. Through room makeover, DIY projects, thrifting for home decor and organization, come join me in this journey as I transform our house, room by room, into a place that we call home. Sometimes all a space needs is a little TLC to make it functional and cozy. So let's all design and create a happy place. Today we are organizing my vanity as I promised last week. Um, so basically we have to find a space for all of this makeup and whatnot in these uh, drawers. So I have my makeup brushes already right there. I and I will be utilizing these um, container like organizers in those drawers as well as these two wooden one that I found um, at Target. Let's get started on that. Hopefully everything fits well and everything works out. Also for my eyebrows and an eyelash curler. I think I'll put that all in the same space. And then scissors, which I normally use when I do use fake um, false lashes. <laughs> so.
so now everything is put away in its place and I guess we'll go ahead and start this uh, vanity tour so I'll make it quick although I say quick hopefully it doesn't take me that long so I'll breeze through everything that's in this uh, vanity so I guess we'll start off in this corner right here I got this lamp uh, from Target and I love this little you know um, switch pool super bright as well as this gold uh, detailing hardware with its marble uh, base because it just you know matches all of the hardware that I have here on my uh, vanity and then I found this uh, candle at Target as well um, not only do I love obviously the brass gold uh, container that it comes with but the scent is to die for <laughs> so it is in the scent rose water and it's called sorbet and then this little candle holder is one of the items that I thrifted. I thought it was just so perfect um, to match for an added decor. Then we have my makeup brushes right here, which is the ones that I use on a daily basis. This little um, makeup brush holder I found, again, at Target, as you can tell. I love shopping at Target. I mean, who doesn't, right? Um, anyway, this one was very um, affordable. Yeah, I actually found it on their uh, dollar or three dollar aisle. And I love the gold uh, marble detailing as well because it matches everything else. The little faux planter that I have, the plant as well as the planter is actually from Ikea. And then moving on to my perfume collection. So starting from this side, I have two of my favorite scents from Jo Malone. Um, one is called Earl Grey and then the other one is English um, Pear and Freesia. And also what I love about these two perfumes is if you actually mix the scents, um, it would smell just as good as the original. And I believe if I'm not mistaken, those two are two of their most uh, popular scent. Then we have Chance by Chanel. That one smells pretty good too. This is uh, Jador. I think it's from Dior. I forget who makes Jador, but this one I haven't used in a while. And honestly, I don't think I like the scent of that anymore, but I do like uh, the, you know, perfume bottle. Um, and so I just uh, keep it. And then these two right here are uh, my travel size perfume. And they're both from Chanel. This I believe is um, scent uh, Mademoiselle. And then the other one is just uh, Chance uh, travel size. And then this right here is from Coach. I have two from Versace. I have the you know main uh, full bottle as well as a travel size of it. And then these two right here, let me focus on it, are out of all the perfume is probably two of my favorite ones. This right here is my Holy Grail uh, perfume from YSL. Um, as you can tell from the bottle, I'm pretty much like almost out of it. And then this is by Chloe. And then I also got the two travel size right there. And then last but not least is this little travel size, Misty Your. And then the, this is just a perfume crystal bottle decoration, which actually I also thrifted. And then on this one, is just my jewelry holder and this I love. It, this one is an Amazon find. I love how this jewelry box comes with so many different you know compartments and partitions on each one. Most especially the top part with you know compartments for the earrings, the rings, also bracelets and necklaces. This one is my favorite though. <laughs> and when it comes to this jewelry box because I love how that it comes with that clear window 
so you can see everything already without opening it. All right, so moving on to the first drawer, I guess we'll start off on the right. So this one, the first compartment here is all of my lippies. Um, you can see these gold um, container right here are all from YSL brand. And most of these shades are like in neutral shades. These two are also YSL. This one is from Chanel and this is my favorite shade from Chanel. I don't know if we'll be able to tell what the name is. Just hard to focus on it. And then these three that are, that are in like rose gold container are from Charlotte Tilbury. Again, these are more a uh, neutral shade um, color. So let's see if I can actually. So mob color, and then brown, more neutral. And then these are all from Urban Decay. These ones are um, a few of my drugstore lipsticks from Milani. Again, as you can tell, they're all neutral shade with some that are like deep, you know, mauve shade. And then I think everyone is pretty much familiar with this type of <laughs> container, the bullet, I call it the bullet, a lipstick container, which is from MAC. This is pretty much their like signature brand of lipstick. So different shades there, and then another sh red shade. I think when it comes to like red tone, my favorite one is Ruby Woo. That's always going to be the number one. And then I also found this recently, also from MAC, by their Patrick Star Collection. This shade of red is really nice uh, for my skin tone as well. And then just a few right here. Uh, from Marc Jacobs. This one's another Urban Decay and then those two right there. And then these ones are kind of like the liquid lipstick. Another um, drugstore brand which is from Revlon and this is their Ultra HD Matte Lip Color uh, brand. So I love the matte finish on these as well as the consistency. And then the middle compartment that you see are all of my lip glosses. Um, these right here are, you know, my uh, just lip balm. I may actually have to get rid of some of these lip glosses because I don't even use them anymore. And plus I need to check and see when they expire so I can toss those if they've already expired. And then just a few of like lip liner that I use. And then on the last compartment I have my refill for my travel size uh, perfume and then if i was to wear a foundation which i normally don't usually i do for special occasions only like weddings or whatnot um, i do use the the your skin forever foundation in the shade 40 which is for my skin tone and then of course i have you know a beauty blender to apply that all right moving on to the middle compartment so let's see i have to be careful here because this drawer does not have a stopper so if i pull it all the way i may end up you know hurting my feet with it so gotta avoid accidents as much as we can all right, moving on. So on this first compartment, these are just some of my extra makeup uh, brushes. And then this right here are all of my eyeshadow uh, palette, except for this one. This one is actually a blush uh, palette. Let me see if I can try to open this with one. I mean, holding the camera <laughs> on one hand and trying to open with the other is just not working. Oh, okay, never mind. I managed uh, to open it. So this is, as you can see, just kind of like more neutral uh, tone with some pink and mauve uh, color. So that's that. And then these two I mainly um, carry with me when I travel. So this quad eyeshadow from MAC is Obviously, as you can 
tell it's like my go-to you can see here that I pretty much hit the pan on three of them so I probably need to get a refill <laughs> for this soon and then this one right here is another neutral shade um, from uh, Charlotte Tilbury and then I do have I think it's pretty much all of the naked palette collection so I have the very first one I think this is it um, neutral shade and then they came out with like a smoky palette which is great for going out or date night and you want to have like that smoky look and then here is their second a naked palette again more brown brown tone neutral with a bit of shimmer and then out of the four this one naked three palette is my favorite because this one actually has more of like a pink you know tone shimmer so I love that and then moving on to this side so in the first container right here these are just all of my um eyebrow eye gel eye pad oh I, I don't know brow powder or something like that uh, mascara as well as uh, brow gel i think i have a liquid um, liner here somewhere in the gel liner as well and then middle compartment has all of my blushes so these two right here are from a drugstore brand, again from Milani, um, in the shade Coralina, and then I think the other one's Luminoso. And then these three are from MAC. This one's um, Melba. The other one is Warm Soul. And then my favorite out of the three, as you can tell, is uh, called Ginger Lady. And then lastly, Laura. And then these two are just two of my face uh, powder from Chanel. Um, this one, I believe it's like a blush. Yeah. And then Laura Mercier, it's like a translucent uh, powder that I use to kind of take away the shine. This one from Bare Mineral Minerals, I also use on a daily basis mainly you know when i don't really want to wear makeup but you know my face is kind of oily or just to take away <laughs> or take out the shine on my face i do use that and then if i want to kind of have like a flawless look but at the same time not wearing foundation um this one is my go-to from charlotte tilbury which is one of their flawless uh face powder so that is great for that and then lastly, on this last drawer are just some of my highlighters and bronzers. So the first compartment right here are the highlighters. So two from Laura Mercier, and then we have one from Bobbi Brown. I think this is their um, Shimmer Brick yep, Compact Highlighter. These three are just additional uh, face powder that I currently don't use. Um, and then the back or the metal compartment here are all of my bronzers. So I have one from NARS. This one actually comes with um, a blush and the bronzer, the, which is the one that I take for when you know I travel. And then another one, another shimmer brick from Bobbi Brown. And then these two bronzers, um, one from Laura Mercier and then Cargo. And then we have one from Too Faced, another one from Bobby Brown, and then these two are one from Urban Decay and the one. And then on the last compartment, I just have, you know, baby wipes because when you're applying makeup, it just kind of gets all over the place. And so to keep it clean and neat, I keep that there. And then this one, I just kind of like my spare eyeshadow from um, MAC. So when I want to refill the quad uh, eyeshadow that I take for travel, I this is pretty much where I get those. 
Hey guys, so that concludes our vanity organization slash tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also please consider subscribing as I would love to have you back. So until then, I will see you on my next one. Bye guys.